Now to 604, the former teacher who kidnapped his student in Maury County will spend the next 20 years in prison. The girl he victimized, hoping his sentence would have been longer. Reporter Stephanie Langston at our sister station in Nashville has the details. Today we got justice for a brave victim who can get on with her life. Federal prosecutors left court with a victory Wednesday afternoon, but first, Elizabeth Thomas faced the man who kidnapped her as a high schooler, took her across the country, and forced her to have sex. Well, it's an emotional time, obviously, to come face to face with a with a, a, a perpetrator like that. She became so upset, someone else had to read her statement to the judge, who would decide the punishment. She wrote, "He chose to prey on me, knowing the problems I had in my home life, and he convinced me that I was weak." She told a similar story to ABC's 2020. Some people, even when we were here covering it. Question whether or not you went willingly. I went willingly to save my family. And if I didn't go, my family could get hurt and I would die as well. I mean, I was, I went with coercion and threats. You felt like you didn't have a choice. I didn't. My choice was like made for me by him. Ted Cummins asked for a 10 year sentence because he said he was taking responsibility. Elizabeth called that convenient. She wrote, first, you said I was to blame. Then you said the devil made you do it. But if that's true, then you are the devil. She asked the judge for 38 years, one year for each day she was away from her family. The judge settled on 20 years. You've got 20 years to think about what you did, and I hope you think long and hard about the damage that you caused. Elizabeth Thomas also told the court what happened to her was devastating and permanent. As far as what's next, there's still a lawsuit against the Murray County School System. It claims the district failed to protect Elizabeth from a predator.